still in London and with me now I have William Darsmith. Uh, hello to you. You're an day, MP day, yeah. for the UKIP party for the South West and Gibraltar. Yes. Uh, of course, the UKIP party uh, was the one really campaigning for that Brexit to happen. Negotiations still haven't started. How do you feel they're going to go? Well, unfortunately, the, the powers that be in the European Union are, are, in, are, are indulging in a lot of posturing. Um, which is not very constructive for anybody concerned. What everybody wants is friendship and free trade. Free trade, but on what conditions? Because one of the conditions for free trade with the single market is the free movement of people. The uh, European Union has got approximately 140 trade agreements, and only the four trade agreements relating to the EFTA countries have free movement. That, that is a complete myth. You can have a trade deal with Canada or Singapore and the EU, but you then have the customs borders. No, no, no. We, 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 we aren't up. advocating. We, we, we actually aren't. We in UKIP don't advocate that the UK should be part of the customs union after Brexit. What we do advocate is that we should have our own separate relationship. But then with, with borders and customs controls on the borders? So you still think it would be better financially overall on those trade agreements, but when it comes to the city of London, where we are now, 40% yeah. uh, of uh, you know, its uh, finance services it deals with the EU. Well, well, that will continue, and the reason it will continue is, is because it's in the economic interest of everybody for it to continue. And these multinational companies you know, that are already buying up buildings abroad? Or... Well, I think what you're referring to is that uh, JP Morgan has bought one building in Dublin. It doesn't They're it doesn't window. really equal. It doesn't really equal anything on the lines of uh, what, what, what what's being suggested. Um, and now, of course, you are also the MEP for Gibraltar, that uh, yeah. British overseas territory. We're hearing in the EU guidelines that they say any deal struck with the UK will not apply to Gibraltar unless the UK uh, finds a deal with Spain. Well, well. Well, well we'll be left with nothing. Spain is a nation state. The United Kingdom is, is, is a nation state. And any problems with Gibraltar should be sorted out on a one to one, what, what, in the jargon, bilateral basis between Spain and the United Kingdom. And it's absolutely wrong. It's absolutely wrong for the European Union to seek to interfere in that relationship. But what do you think might be the solution for? Well, for you're you asking you me to look in a crystal ball. The, yeah. Well, the. the, the the, the, the answer is very simple. Over 10,000 Spanish citizens a day uh, uh, so come, in, come into work in Gibraltar every day. Common sense should prevail, sanity should prevail, and there should be some situation akin or perhaps the same as that which we have at the moment, which suits everybody. And that's what should happen. And the European Union should stay out of it. It's none of their business. OK, so you don't envisage any change in the status between Spain and the UK? And well, the you region. are asking me to look at a crystal ball. And the answer is... No, no, I don't envisage that, and no, there shouldn't be, for the reasons I've just given. OK, so Gibraltar, of course, one region that people were wondering about. There's also the question of Northern Ireland and Scotland. William Dartmouth, thanks so much for your time and talking to us on France 24. Thank you. That brings us to the end of the first half of the show, but join us again after the news. We're heading to a different region. One decided it wanted to leave the EU in that referendum last year. We're going to find out what they think about it today, and we'll also be looking at those issues of Northern Ireland and Scotland. See you then.